Today we're going to make uh, potato pancakes. Hansa Duda's world famous potato pancakes, which are uh, uh, in fact a common uh, preparation in uh, places like Germany and Switzerland. They call them uh, uh, Kartoffelfankuchen. Anyway, my mother used to make them. And uh, one of the things that we have to notice that potatoes in the in the uh, grocers generally are russet potatoes. They're very cheap. They're uh, uh, sometimes a uh, dollar for ten pounds or two dollars. You don't want to use those potatoes. You want to use the red potatoes, which are more expensive, but they're actually much better. So. Use red potatoes, and here we go. So we take the potato, and we have a, uh, just a regular grater, and the large uh, cut is the one we use as opposed to the little one. So, um, as you can see, we just use one potato is sufficient because it was large potato. Generally. We'll use two potatoes, but one one large potato is enough to make a potato pancake. And for this preparation, you want to make a, a very hot the pan very hot. We'll use a ghee. Ghee is uh, actually. Uh, it's called clarified butter. You take butter that you buy in the grocer, and uh, if you want to make ghee, you say you buy five or six pounds of butter, or ten pounds, put it in a pan, uh, into a pot, and uh, <clears throat> you can put it in the oven on a very, very low heat, or you can put it on a, a stove top, and uh, similarly, let it go generally overnight on low heat. What happens is the impurities in the butter and the, the, uh, the solids that have uh, been um, incorporated into the butter, they generally rise to the bottom and float to the uh, rise to the top and float to the bottom. And what's left over is called ghee, as you see here. It's clear. It looks like cooking oil. The um, advantage of making ghee is that you don't have to keep ghee in a refrigerator. It keeps. Uh, without spoiling, just by uh, keeping it in a jar. And so ghee is, is uh, what uh, every, not everyone, but uh, in India, ghee is uh, the common cooking uh, oil. It's not oil, it's actually butter. So Indians know what ghee is, but in America, ghee is, is just starting to... Uh, become popular. You can also buy uh, ghee in an Indian grocer, but it, it, it is a bit expensive. Okay, here we go. So when it's nice and hot, we uh, toss the uh, grated potato onto the pan, as you can see. And there's no need to uh, peel the potato. Of course, if you like, if you don't care for the skin, you can't peel the potato. It's optional. So once the shredded potato has been put, then we even out the mix. So it's nice and flat and also thin. You don't want to make it too thick, otherwise the potato pancake becomes a bit gummy from the uh, starchy potatoes. So, And remember, you want to keep this uh, fry on high heat. And I just happen to have my customized uh, mixture of black salt and white salt. And we just sprinkle a little salt to season. So you're probably wondering what black salt is. Black salt, uh, we used it the other day, is um, a kind of uh, mineral 
mineral salt was found in uh, Pakistan's uh, mine in Pakistan. It has a purplish color. In its original form, it looks like crystals, like purple crystals. If you can, in India, you can buy it in big chunks. But here in, in the States, uh, they've uh, refined it, or, or not refined it, but they've ground it down. And I uh, use it by mixing half sea salt, so you got half and half. It gives a very uh, nice flavor to everything. Some people won't like it because it has a sulfury taste. But when you use it in a preparation like soup or a vegetable preparation, you just sprinkle some, you don't get that taste at all. All it does is it enhances the flavor of whatever you put it on. Okay, so here we go. Turning it over, we sprinkle a little ghee on, on the, this side because we're going to turn this pancake over. We don't want it to burn. There we go. Now we can see, we have to turn the heat down a little bit. We can see that this is, we don't want to burn the potato pancake. When this is uh, done and served, uh, Americans, they like ketchup, so you can serve it with a little side of ketchup, but the Germans, they like it with applesauce. They, they'll, they'll put uh, the potato pancake in a small cup of applesauce and eat it in that way, so it's also optional. How do you know when you turn it? Well, I tell you, uh, you just have to um, have a little experience and a little common sense. You and, and you can take a peek, you just kind of push the spatula underneath, you can see. But you can also tell by the, the pancake will get a kind of translucent uh, quality to it. And uh, But uh, ultimately, it's going to depend on uh, doing this a few times, then you get the idea. Like anything, practice makes perfect. Okay, so when, when this uh, the pancake is done, we're going to serve it with uh, some grated apples. And that'll be uh, a substitute for the applesauce, since we don't have any applesauce. Another two minutes or so, it should be done. Let's show off our flipping towel. Flip out. Flip out. Okay, that's it. Here we go. And we'll uh, have a good out how offer this. Because everything before we uh, take it is offered to Krishna.